don't judge me for the quality of the video. This is just a demonstration I'm doing in my uh, garage while I have the, the opportunity to, just because I happen to have two identical model laptops, one with the solid state and one with the, with the uh, um, factory SATA hard drive. Um, they're both the uh, new uh, Dell and Spiron N7110. They share a model number. The one on the right is a quad-core i7, so it's a better model. Um, the one on the left is lesser, only in the processor. Uh, say both, they both have the same 8 gigs of RAM and uh, pretty much everything else. They, they even came with the 750 gig hard drive from factory. They both did. But I upgraded it to a solid state. It's only 60 gig, but it's a high-end uh, Vertex 3 solid state. So um, I just wanted to show the difference in how quick that they uh, operate, with the only difference being the hard drives. They're both brand new. I didn't take any of the junk off uh, that comes preloaded from Dell. Um, so they just are both uh, set up so you can get to the welcome screen. And uh, I didn't set either of them up beyond that. So I'm going to turn them both on. And do this. I'm going to turn them both on at the same time from my dead off. And they're both going on. The one on the left has a. Uh, they both have the same um, brightness, it's just the reflection. I'm thinking on the camera, one looks brighter than the other. I turned the uh, monitor downward a little to limit the reflection. And the one on the left is uh, started up. It's completely booted up, ready to go. The one on the right isn't yet, and it's not so much to show that it's slower, it's to show how much slower. And when you're working with uh, onboard tasks or even uh, things that aren't really limited by your connection speed, it just makes a world of difference. And now the one on the right is started up. And people always show a demonstration of the startup and shut off, but you do a lot more than that with the computer. But it's a nice way to compare without being hooked up to the internet because I'm not on either one of them and I ain't going to go through the bother to do that. But um, working on the computer, starting up or shutting down or even playing iTunes, uh, transferring uh, pictures, um, even when you're browsing the internet, I know technically it doesn't seem like it should make a difference, but it definitely does. Um, if I were to get another computer, I would rather have the $349 Dell laptop with a solid state than the i7 quad core uh, as far as performance wise. The, the solid state makes such an incredible difference. And now I'm going to shut them off. Let's do this one first. Shutting off, they both go pretty quick. But this is still quicker, I think. Just an incredible difference, and here you get a chance to see on the newer. Uh, the, see, one on the left is off already. The newer Dells, like I said, they don't have the, box, the door on the bottom to swap out the hard drive, so it's a lot of work. And uh, besides it being a lot of work to remove the keyboard and the palm rest and the other parts in there, um, Usually it's a new computer you're doing it with and you don't want to scratch up all these shiny parts and the edges and uh, the first computer you do, you probably will anyway. But it's, here you go, now you can see the difference and how much of a difference. And if it does that, just starting up the programs, you can imagine what it does operating with them. So uh, there's a quick comparison since I just happened to have the two computers and hadn't used either one yet. So there we go.